Okay, I'm pretty excited this morning because one, the snow has started to melt, but two, I've found a new passion for something that my dad used to be really into, and that's bonsai. Yeah, I've really taken a keen interest into bonsai because uh, one, it's gardening on a miniature scale, but there's so much more to it. It's it's the uh, ability to grow plants in a smaller space smaller pot and smaller space and in a miniature size but you have to think about so many aspects of of growing this plant in a healthy way so bonsai essentially just means pot and plant so bon is pot and sai is plant in japanese um and i've been doing this so much already with my figs with you know several hundred pots that um it was just kind of a natural take and progression into this because what I need to do really is um, probably sell off some of the figs that I've got here. I've got way too many to take care of thoroughly. And so um, what I've been doing is some of, my, some of the extra fruit plants that I've got, I've been actually trying to bonsai those and practice and kind of get used to, uh, I guess, taking care of plants in kind of a miniature version of it. Um, so I've, I've done a lot of research and uh, have a couple classes lined up for bonsai and what I'm going to do is probably do a little bit of half and half. Half figs, half bonsais, full garden, um, and really change the whole uh, yard so that it's a little bit more thought out, clean things up a little bit, you know, add more aspects of um, kind of a, a Japanese garden per se. I will put in a pond right over here eventually okay, this year because I'm excited. Days. I used to have garden beds over there and that's going to change. Um, so in this video today we're going to take a look at a couple of bonsais that I've done. I mean this is literally one and two. Right? The first and second bonsais that I've ever done um, and then go to a nursery to see if we can do some nursery stock bonsai and then stop by my sister's house she's been holding some really nice large pine trees that my dad used to do my dad uh, used to love bonsai and at the time I didn't care for it uh, but he would do what I was doing now and stop by nurseries all the time to look for bonsais and buy some uh, bonsai stock so uh, Hopefully we can go over there and see some of the trees that he's been growing throughout the years. They're really nice specimens. Um, he gave a lot away to his brother, my uncle. So I would like to see what those trees look like as well. So um, let's check things out. Okay, we made it to my sister's backyard and there are a couple bonsai trees here that I'm gonna take home. Actually. One's going to my brother, the other one's going to me. Let's check these out. You can see here, you know, they've been kind of neglected. Lots of weeds growing underneath. Definitely need to be root pruned. This here is, I'm not sure what kind of pine this is. I have to look it up. Look at this one. This one's going to me. I actually think this might be the better of the tree. There's a piece of dead wood right there that might be a good candidate for gin. Look at that canopy. Definitely needs a thin out. Okay. I've got this thing loaded. It looks beautiful in the pot. And uh, that took some effort. It's a pretty heavy tree for a single person to carry, so but it was totally worth it. Totally worth it. The soil is really compacted and the roots don't look all that healthy. They've, I'm guessing I've been sitting in this pot for, I don't know, 10 years or more, and uh, there's no air getting into it. So uh, we definitely have to trim this back, put it in some new potting soil. Okay, it's taking me about 40 minutes to finally get through all of the soil from this pine. And look at this, look at the 
this trunk here and this nice beautiful Nabari. This whole thing though is so huge like it blocks a lot of oxygen and water to be able to get down to these lower roots. Um, so I don't know if I should do some root pruning on this like this one crosses over right here. Um, just leave it, repot it, and then worry about it another day. So yeah, took a while, but I'm gonna put it in some better soil. Gives it a little bit more aeration, a lot more aeration compared to what it's been sitting in, this stuff right here, um, which completely got compacted and super dense. But anyways, let's move on to the next phase. All right, so I've changed up the soil, added some moss growing from the yard, a couple rocks because I didn't wire this thing down. I want that extra weight just in case there's a big gust of wind and um, it'll help kind of weigh it down. Because uh, if you look at this canopy, it is huge hasn't been pruned in years and uh, that's this thing will probably act like a, a parachute if given the opportunity by strong wind gusts so I might just take out some large candles or branches that um, that I know I need to get rid of just to kind of create a little bit less of a parachute when a wind gust comes up so that's probably all I'll do until maybe about June. 